Wanted to come back with an update on what's going on here at our little homestead. It's been warm the last couple of days, which has been super nice, clear skies, and pretty eager to get outside and do some work. And I guess I'm almost trying to find things to do a little bit outside, have a reason, especially on these nice days. I'm ready for the gardening season. I'm ready for earthwork stuff. I've got so many ideas. You know, you sit through winter time with all of these different ideas and concepts ready to implement. Um, I'm just super eager. So I've got those clips there. Super nice. They're off of Amazon. They weren't really expensive, but that's what we use to hold down the plastic, the clear plastic that we'll be using for all of these hoops, which we have six of them. So that's what we've got the clear plastic for. That was about the only plastic that I had right now that wasn't uh, frozen the ground <laughs> because I forgot to bundle those up for the winter. So user error on that. But, you know, I've been able to scrape a little bit of the topsoil. You know, obviously the ground is still very frozen. So I've been able to scrape a little bit of the soil off the top to make little swales in front of the garden beds there. And you can see the ducks are definitely enjoying that nice muddy water. So it's funny to see them swimming around. But this is essentially what I'm going to be doing for all of these garden beds because this pathway here, it you can see how melted off it is. So that is the path where the water is running constantly and where it's always muddy and super mucky. So I'm essentially, you know, the ground is pretty frozen. I'm only able to really dig so much, you know, out and, and kind of carve a pathway <clears throat> to the next garden bed right there. So this is what I'll be doing for each of the garden beds is adding little swales that direct the flow of water to each garden bed to help with moisture through the summer. And this is just a little example of uh, the swales that I did last year, um, or actually, yeah, last year before winter set in. And you can see all this melt and runoff from off the hill. It's just draining right into this swale. It's super cool to see this in action. Um, and see the water gathering that it's been, you know, doing. And it's definitely been soaking that water up because that it wasn't, it was full of snow before and then it was empty and dry and now it's filled back up with more and that soil has just been absorbing it super nicely. So you can see that mound is fairly, you know, heated <clears throat> to, I think, you know, besides that one that's covered under the big snow drift and that'll just produce a lot of water. But, you know, the concept is already proving itself you know for w what we've got going on out on our land a lot of uh, the hillside and that farm field there you know there's a lot of water runoff that happens and you know essentially letting the goats rotationally graze last year I did a video on you know our first year getting the goats through the field and honestly it's really cool to see that even though those are weeds on our property a lot of those are weeds and dead weeds and stuff different grasses you know it's amazing to see how much snow actually has gathered up around all of that so we've retained a whole lot more moisture on the property just with letting things even grow and there's even some green grass that's growing underneath some of those bushes still from last year so those will sprout out and be super nice and, you know, that's kind of what I was doing today. It's super nice. I'm poking at different spots where I've got swales. And, yeah, there's still some spots that are super frozen. I can't even get the shovel through it. And it's just super icy. Still too cold. But it's I'm just super eager to get outside and, and start doing work. So, actually, one spot I did find was on our south-facing hill, closer to where I was chopping that tree. And this hill... You know, it's the top, so and it's south-facing, so it's getting blasted with sun. So you can see how little snow that there is on it at all. You know, but it makes that sand kind of soil mix super um, loose. And so I was actually able to dig a good amount on that hillside. So I'm going to definitely be doing more. But it was nice to get some of this uh, swale done, slash terrace maybe, on this part of the hill. And that... <laughs> You know, honestly, I think that only took me like 30 minutes to to get through all of what I'm doing here, you know, to get at least a little trench going, have an idea of where I'm going to continue digging more to widen and uh, slightly uh, enlarge the mound that's going on there. 
But, you know, usually you're using like an A-frame or something like that. I'm not using one for right now. I do have an A-frame that I do use, which I'll show in a little bit. But, you know, this hillside, I have a, you know, I've observed the hillside a lot and definitely kind of seen what's going on and where it, at least a little bit of the contour is. So I was able to, you know, kind of flatten out an area a little bit, mound it up. So now at least, you know, even though it's not all the way finished, it's still going to be slowing down the water, which I know I'm going to have to go back and work on it. But I'm just so excited to get out and work on everything. So it's just kind of dinking with stuff and thinking about the ideas of, you know, design that I do have and where I want to put those and getting ideas. So, you know, the driveway is the, is the main huge uh, project, I think, for diverting so much of the water because that hillside coupled with our driveway and the ruts, you know, we get all of this water that drains down that hillside on the ruts. And it's, you know, it's coming at high speed. So there's a lot that's coming down and it just makes it a huge mucky mess. So you see, I got my A-frame there and it's just the straight, it's got a little rock for the weight on it. And, you know, just marking out where things are level on the driveway. And like I said before, it's pretty frozen so i haven't you know it's not like i'm able to dig down and actually make actual good swales but for now i'm just actually trying to divert a lot of this water because when it's sunny like this all of this water just is draining down you know and it just make you know this is all just from this morning all that's all in front making it super muddy and mucky and granted i do have some pits that are kind of uh farther past the camera um you know, where water drains to, but, you know, I need to make more, uh, kind of do more, uh, earthwork designs to build things up so we can slow a lot more of this water down. So that's definitely one key thing, you know, I've, we've been able to do, I've been able to do a lot on the land these last seven years is just observe a whole lot of what's going on with the nature where things are flowing and learning a lot more about permaculture design and just learning about you know, contour and elevation and just water sources. And, and we're in a high mountain desert. So, you know, I think we need just about every drop of water that we can save on the property. So hence why we, you know, we've got the earthship, we've got ponds and stuff like that. So we're just a, a slowly building permaculture site, you could say. Um, you know, it's not, it's the beginning stages. So it's not going to look like a big old food forest like everyone expects when they hear permaculture. So <clears throat> it's about all I really was have been able to do the last couple of days besides gardening. So I'll definitely do a separate gardening video because we've got seeds popping up and all that good stuff. But you know, this is one big thing I'm looking forward to this year and outside is being able to show people, you know, just what we're doing for permaculture projects and you know, how we're d slowing down the water and trying to capture more water on our property in general. So if you stuck around this long in the video, I appreciate it. This is just a little update on my eagerness to get outside and start working with nature and doing all kinds of the different permaculture projects and stuff that I have planned for the year. So definitely make some comments. If I didn't, if anyone has any questions, I am always willing to answer. So like and subscribe.